And once again, we are back, but this time I found this handsome man. We are with Daniel Baldwin. And are you getting ready to golf today or are you just showing up to look good? Well, you see, you have to remember it's different than the athletes who actually play golf. <laughs> I, I bring the club back, I look down, I do all the drama, I look over the lens and I say hi to a fan. And I bring the club back and right about here they cut. And then they bring in like Freddie Couples or somebody who actually can play golf and they get behind him so you can't see his face. And he hits a perfect shot and they cut back to me going. So, you know, that makes me think is, you know, our friend Victor, super competitive. So with that, I'm assuming you're not in his foursome today. I am not in his foursome. Victor is smart enough to, to ask me to come, but also smart enough he wants to win this thing. Those guys are, you know. Now, if they happen to have put me with a group, I can putt pretty well and I can chip pretty well, but I just don't play enough anymore. I understand. So Victor's organization really supports our youth and mentorship and supports the growth of families. Obviously, you come from a long bloodline of success. And the people within your family, what I want to say nicely is, what lessons are you teaching your family, your children, about today's society? Well, I always look at what my role in a situation is, because the only thing I can truly affect is my role in it. And so two Christmases ago, my oldest daughter, who's now 14, said, well, Daddy, you know, I'm going into junior high school and I need a laptop. You need a laptop in junior high school? I thought to my, I, I said, okay. Well, do you know what you want? Yes, yeah, I want the uh, MacBook Pro L10 17 dash, you know. So I, she walks away and I said, hey, Avis, how much is that? She said $3,600 for the laptop she needed to go into seventh grade. And I thought, you know what, girls? Take your $750 phones, and I want you to write a list of all the things that you want for Christmas, minus the laptop. I said, I just want the total. Go look it up, how much each thing costs, give me the total. So Finley, my younger daughter, comes in and she goes, mine's pretty high, Daddy. I said, it is? What is it, honey? She said, it's $1,200. I thought, $1,200 for a 10-year-old for Christmas. I can afford that, but I, I, I thought 1200 that is a little high, you know, I mean, $1,200. So then Avis comes down probably 30 minutes later because she had to calculate, and she was at 3600 without the laptop. I said, okay. So we're at forty-eight. I said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to call the Catholic Archdiocese in downtown Syracuse, and I'm going to find out how many kids are in, how many kids they brought in, immigrants that are refugees. And I said, and I'm going to take that $4,800, and we're going to buy and get each name, each size, and buy multiple gifts for each one of those kids and have a Christmas party for them. And I'm not putting one thing under the tree. And, of course, they looked at me and, they were, and I said, I promise you, it will be the greatest Christmas you ever had. And we walked in, and they were from the Congo, 38 kids. Uh, many of them had lost their fathers because of the Civil War there. So they were coming with multiple children and their moms in two-bedroom apartments. I mean, God bless what they're doing there, but not, not the greatest conditions, but much better here, obviously, than where they were there. And these two boys were probably 10, and they're using two pencils, knitting two scarves for the girls to say thank you as we got there. Best Christmas ever. And my girls to this day, you know, that was a couple years ago, and they, what, what do they want? Well, could we get a couple things under the tree, but could we go back and see if there's more kids that just came in? It all starts with the seed corn, with the children. And Victor and his foundation realize that, that if we're going to give them hope and we're going to change things and we're going to make a difference, we have to start when they're young. That's one of the things I honor most about him and his wife and why I come. I love it. So impactful. I have five children myself, and every year we give back to the community. I have a not-for-profit that does um, holiday gift-giving. So that story to me is more important than probably a lot of things that we'll hear today. So, Danny Baldwin, you have an amazing day. Thank God you so you. much for stopping Thank by, you. and I appreciate you for coming, and hopefully you have a good swing today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> you got it.